Hi there, and welcome to Minds Makes. I'm Stephen Sullivan. This is a channel focused around additive and advanced manufacturing. Our projects and research take place at the Colorado School of Mines, a university in scenic Golden, Colorado. Today we'll be using the EinScan 2X Pro 3D scanner system, which uses structured light projection to capture the geometry of a 3D object. We tested our 3D scanner on a drinking mug, a DSLR camera, and an actual human. Kelly and I were able to unbox and set up the scanner in under an hour. We started in fixed scan mode, which makes use of the included tripod and turntable. For small objects, the turntable is the easiest way to capture scans from different angles. The white markings on the turntable help align the different scans into one completed mesh. The first object we scanned was a Star Wars themed ceramic mug. We set up the mug from different angles to capture the entire object. Because our scanner also has a color texture camera, we're able to capture the small details of the mug's design in addition to the 3D shape of the object. Sometimes the software does not stitch together the scans perfectly. By manually selecting several points where the scans overlap, we can align them ourselves. The final scan can be output to several geometry file types for balancing good detail with a small file size. Our favorite is the .3MF, or 3D manufacturing format. We can use this information to 3D print our scanned objects. You may notice that the colors of our scan are a little darker than the colors of the mug itself. If we wanted to, we could adjust the brightness and contrast of our final mesh to make the colors more accurate to our object. Here, it's important we choose to take a texture scan so that we capture color information. Very dark objects, such as this black camera, are more difficult to scan. Because this is a detail-rich object, and it's also large enough to block some of the turntable targets, we selected Feature Alignment Mode. We had to increase the number of scans the EinScan Pro took along one rotation of the turntable. The more angles we scan the camera from, the more accurate our result will be. We also had to prop up the camera to be able to capture it from difficult angles. We used some pink foam we had around, since it's easy to differentiate from our scan object. After one rotation of the turntable, we could highlight and delete the foam from the point cloud. In the end, it took quite a few trips around the turntable to scan this dark object. If you weren't worried about damaging your scan object, a dusting of baby powder or a coat of gray paint would be a good way to make things easier. But I don't think Kelly would appreciate if we did that to his camera. We plan to make use of this scan of the camera in a future project, so stay tuned for our next video. Now since we're taking the scan of a larger object, we took the scanner off the tripod and used it in a handheld mode. We had the most success with a mode called handheld rapid scan. We wanted to test the scanner on a more complex object. Kelly volunteered as a test subject. The scanner experienced some difficulty aligning the scans it took from multiple angles. We had to scan one area thoroughly at the start to create a reliable base geometry. The scanner experienced some difficulty aligning the scans it took from multiple angles. This really slowed down the process, since manual alignment isn't available in this mode. We had to scan one area thoroughly at the beginning, keeping the EinScan Pro as steady as possible to create a reliable base geometry. I can tell you from experience, if you are the scan object like Kelly is in this video, you want to keep your eyes closed during this process. The structured light coming out of the scanner is pretty bright. Darker areas of Kelly's clothing took longer to scan and did not show up as well in our mesh. We also found that placing Kelly in front of a dark background sped up the process. Well, Kelly was very patient, and now we have a pretty good scan of his head and torso. Our scan wasn't perfect and it had a few holes, but the EX scan software actually stitched them up and applied colors in a fairly accurate way. Now Kelly can 3D print himself. 